All right, y'all. So I got an event to go to tonight. So I done pulled this old crusty wig from out the back of the back of the closet. I wore it for two weeks about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And it did me good then. It wasn't too bad. I didn't want to wear it anymore because I thought maybe I could wear it again. You'll know at a later date. I didn't think it was going to be a year later. But here we go. As you can see, it's not too matted. It's just, you know, a little flyaways or whatever. Lace still look good. I got to clean it up a little bit. But lace still look good. Still tinted nice. So we're going to put it on. I ripped the lace a little bit trying to, um, I don't know if that was taking it on or taking it off or... I was partying too much, but the race the lace ripped a little bit, but it's okay. We're gonna work through that. As you can see, I got these crusty braids in. It's nothing I can do with my own hair real quick for this little event tonight. So we're gonna clean this baby up and work something out. Alright, y'all. So after I clean the lace up, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some got to be glue spray right on top of it, just to add another layer. This is gonna be my tacky layer, what which my lace is actually gonna stick to. I'm gonna smooth that in, put a little bit more on top of that, just to get it nice and tacky. I don't wanna leave it on for too long, so, you know. But I do want it to last at least through the night. If it lasts longer than that, cool. If not, that's fine. So this is the wig, y'all. I ain't brush her out yet. She got a comb in the back, two combs in the front, and an elastic band. And we just gonna slip this thing right on. You see how blended that lace is? My tint spray is perfect for my skin tone, y'all. So I'm going to just go ahead and put the combs in. Make sure you got all the baby hairs from around the front. Because once that lace is cut off and you're trying to do a reinstall, those baby hairs tend to get up under the lace and it don't give a melt like you want it to. Make sure you get all those baby hairs from up underneath. But look at this lace, y'all. Look at that blend. Unmatched, okay? I don't use anything else. No type of press powder or nothing. Just my tint spray. Now for these ear tabs, y'all know they don't never stick for me. So we're going to use some got to be glue gel right on top of that spray. And we're going to go ahead and lay this down. I think I just let the, uh, the spray dry too much before I went in here to put this on. But that's fine because we got, we, got we got some gel. We're going to use the gel. Okay, so this is Miss Charisma from the Outre Perfect Hairline Collection. It's a 13 by 6 lace front wig. Y'all know I love my Perfect Hairline Collection, and y'all know I love my long wigs. Now, you usually long wigs only last about two to three weeks, and then it's time to throw it in the trash. But Baby Girl held up so nice, so she's definitely in the lineup of my favorites. Um, after two weeks... I said, oh yeah, I can wear this again. So here we are with the reinstall. Now, don't mind that part that's ripped right there. We just going, you know, once it's thick, it'll 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 mesh together. Don't even worry about that. We gonna get that right together. That's what part of your heart look like, y'all. Don't rip the damn lace. As y'all can see, I put it a little bit behind my own um, hairline, not too far back, but not too far front. Remember, we talked about that four finger uh, forehead rule. We do not want the wig all the way down near at our eyebrows okay that does not look realistic and it looks a mess now as y'all know i always got issues with laying down my ear tabs y'all it don't never want to lay and this rip is like right where the ear tab started but hopefully when i melt my lace down when i tie it down it'll 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 lay but these ear tabs they don't never stay down i always got to do two or three times two or three layers of gel or spray all right, y'all, now we're going to take this scarf and we're going to go ahead and tie this down to melt that lace. Lately, that elastic band has not been working out for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong or if it's just the brand that I got. But every time I take my elastic band off, y'all, it makes my edges real flaky and it starts to, like, peel up a little bit. It's like the wig be coming off with the band and I don't got time for that. So we're going to go old school and, you know, use this regular old bandana. It works just the same as long as you tie it tight and leave it on long enough. So while that lace is melting, we're going to brush her out. Nice paddle brush, you know, and just start in sections. Start at the bottom and work your way up. Look at them curls just coming right on in. It wasn't too matted to begin with. I wore this wig for two weeks, y'all. Once the two weeks was over and it wasn't like matting up at the ends, I said, oh, I can wear this again. Let's put this in the closet. Would y'all see how them um, curls just bounce right up? And it's not stiff. It's nice and bouncy. All right, you see how that melted right on in? You know, we got to get together these baby hairs, but let's just look at these curls for a minute. Look at these curls, y'all. All right, so for this part, I'm going to straighten it out a little bit, and then I'm going to press it down. 
Um, I got my high comb on at level 10 and we're going to press that flat. I want my part to be nice and sleek with a little bit of volume in the front. So I push the front back to give that little bit, that little hump in the front and then we push the part down. Now on to the edges. So I'm going to take that same got to be glue gel and I'm going to start working on these edges. I like nice adult edges, not the teenage girl all the way down to the eyebrow type edges, y'all. Just some regular, you know, nice little edges. We're going to do them a little bit dramatic and pull a little bit out from the wig. Just because of the type of event that I'm going to and I'm going to be dressed up and I'm going to have on long lashes. So I don't want too small of swoops, but we definitely not going to do no real big giant swoops. Now here we go, y'all. This is the final product you know the final look for this install i got one curl back there that i didn't reach y'all y'all see it i know y'all see it but don't worry about it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it um i noticed it once i played the um video back but yeah separating my curls a little bit giving it a little bit more volume but yeah so miss charisma must been in the back of their closet giving herself a pep talk like if i can just get one more chance i have to serve looks i promise i won't mad up on you i promise i'll be good i promise i will serve looks and baby girl definitely pulled through, okay? Served all the looks. It was even good a whole week after.